Hey guys, this is Vikas here from Air Genius, and today we are going to see uh, something around Raspberry Pi. So actually, in my hand, I have got just got a seven-inch LCD that I got from WebShare. And the interesting fact about this is this got a HDMI input, and it is having a touch input for the Raspberry Pi. So let's see how to interface it with the Raspberry Pi. So guys, this is a 7-inch LCD packet from WebSeer that I have received and today we are going to see how to interface this LCD with Raspberry Pi. So let's open it up. So inside the packet, uh, the first thing is two cables. The first one is the HDMI to HDMI cable and second one is the USB micro USB to USB cable. Okay, let's keep it aside. Let's open it up. Okay, here comes the LCD. Over here. Okay. And this has a capacitive touch screen over it uh, so that you can directly interface it to uh, Raspberry Pi and you can have a touch input to the Raspberry Pi. And this is a web share, uh, like you can see over here, revision 2.1 and 7 inch LCD, 7 inch HDMI LCD, that is C version, okay. So the pixel density of this LCD is 1024 cross 600 and this measures 164 mm around that actually in length and uh, 114 mm in width. So this LCD actually comes with two ports. First one is the HDMI port, second one is the USB port. So HDMI ports act as the input to the LCD to have a uh, display from Raspberry Pi and second is the USB port that is used to power off this LCD as well as act as input to the Raspberry Pi for the touch. Okay, And this house is a touch, uh, capacitive touch screen. Okay? And over here we get another switch that is used to control the backlit of the LCD. So you can uh, like if you want to like go into the power saving mode you can just turn off this one. So the backlit of the LCD goes off and you can save power. Okay. And this LCD actually is uh, like supported by various OS ranging from like uh, uh, Raspberry Pi, Raspbian and your Beagle Bone, Banana Pi and Mango Pi all those things and personally I have tested with my computer and it works fine you can have the touch over here and you can just give it touch inputs you can zoom in zoom out and all those things can be done when connected to a computer okay so let's see how to connect it to the raspberry pi so first thing is let's connect the hdmi pin and next is your usb cable so for this so today I am going to use a Raspberry Pi 2 model and let's connect the USB and let's power it up by using an external supply. Okay. Actually, uh, this display says it is fully compatible with latest OS of Raspberry Pi, uh, but this is what is happening right now. I don't get any display when connected to Raspberry Pi. To resolve this issue, we need to get back to the computer and tweak around the config.txt file inside the boot folder of your Raspberry OS burned KFT card. Okay. Then let's change it and come back again. So guys, insert your SD card containing the Raspbian OS for the Raspberry Pi. So find the config.txt file and open it with any editor. And at the end of the file, just add the following lines. Actually, I have uh, provided these uh, lines of code or these commands in the description down below. 
So this is provided on the Webster website. So if you are using the 7 inch display with Raspberry Pi 2 with the Raspberry NGC, you need to add this line. So first is max USB current 1, that means it doesn't limit the USB output current of the Raspberry Pi. So like as you know the LCD is totally getting power from the USB port of the Raspberry Pi. So if the current is limited, it can't be turned on. And this so this is like the HDMI configuration. And last is the like the setting the resolution and refresh rate of the LCD. So let's save it and after this let's put it into the Raspberry Pi and check it out if you are able to like turn on the LCD. So guys uh, let's put the configured SD card again and let's check out if we are enabled to like uh, turn on this display okay okay here it comes guys uh, you can see the LCD has got turned on and I am having display okay I am into console mode let's change it to display mode or GUI mode by using a key external keyboard okay let me get one okay I've got a keyboard over there and connect it to Pi so as uh, actually uh, what I did is uh, like change the default login into the desktop mode and with username pi instead of the console login so let's pour it up again and uh, remove the keyboard over here So now you can see the Pi has logged in the desktop mode and I can have a desktop uh, interface over here in my LCD. So you can see the touch interface is working quite good and okay uh, okay it's uh, working quite good and I can really interact with the Raspberry Pi by using this and this uh, actually it didn't require any driver installation and anything into the Raspberry NGC I just tweaked the config.txt file to support this LCD okay uh, that's all with this thank you thanks for watching hey guys just me once again and hope you have liked my video if so just hit the thumbs up button so if you don't there is a thumbs down button for you also and don't forget to subscribe my channel for latest updates. Okay, see you next time with my new content. That's all guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.